Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Rhino is in a lot of pain. The Rhino's pretty sure he gave himself a hernia this morning. Uh, I was helping one of my buddies move the water tank. Uh, for those of you that think a water tank is just nothing, you know, oh, it's just a water tank. Yeah, that's true, until you get a water tank for an Arctic house. Uh, it's clad in steel. You got the normal water tank. Then it's clad in steel. Then it has the big old oil burner on it. It has it's 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 made for the travel up here, and it's a lot heavier than a regular water tank to the point where we're both strong guys, and it took both of us to get it up the stairs, and we had to take several breaks, and yeah, I can't bend right now. It took me five minutes to get these beers up. Today's beer is from Henderson. It is Rush. Canadian Golden Ale. <sighs> Rush. 5.5% alcohol by volume. We have ingredients. Water, malted barley, rye, hops, yeast. Uh, brewed and packaged by the Henderson Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is a collab between the band Rush and Henderson Brewing Company. Uh, the band Rush, I'm... I lived in the Niagara region, That's I claim myself as being from the Niagara region, even though I'm originally from the Ottawa Valley. Uh, lots of songs, well not lots, a couple songs about different places in the Niagara region. Rush had a big thing there. I was never a huge fan of Rush. I never was, to be honest with you. I know, I know they're, other than like, other than like the Tragically Hip, they're like the, one of the biggest bands in Canada to ever exist. I was more like an Anvil fan, you know, every once in a while, maybe the Northern Pikes. Um, yeah. Little Haze. Um, few shades off, I mean, it's kind of like a brassy color. Smells like beer, just smells like beer. Cheers. Okay, if you're looking for a craft brew that you could drink with almost anybody that liked beer, this could be it. I mean, as long as what you like is more like a European style beer, because it does have that dirty, that dirty, earthy, somewhat, somewhat, um, sulfuric taste on the back end with a little bit of dirty hoppiness it has a euro lager taste to it so this canadian golden ale could be something you could share with a lot of people you get this thing cold you could just drink it you could sit back and just drink it so i mean to be a beer attached to a band this works uh to be a beer that i would buy all the time not working as much to be a beer that might make me forget about my groin a little bit this works out of ten seven i could buy it Bye, guys.